Hi guys, good morning. How are my pre-K kids? Are you guys having a great morning? I hope you are. You guys are so smart. Okay, so last week we talked about the letter W, right? Wuh, wuh. Now what's after W? Do you guys remember? W-X. If you guys said X, good job. Who remembers what sound X makes? You guys should know what sound X makes. X, right? Can you do it with your fingers? X. And you see Xavier the fox? He makes an X with his knitting needles. And his needles go X, 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 X as he's knitting. So we're going to talk about the letter X. And I have um, a friend here, and she's getting her picture taken. And it's an X-ray. We call that an X-ray. Can you guys say X-ray? Now, does it hurt to get your picture taken? No. So if you ever have to go to the hospital to get your picture taken, um, just remember it doesn't hurt, okay? All right, so we're gonna practice our letter X's. Remember we have uppercase, can you guys say uppercase? And lowercase. And I want you guys to practice your uppercase X's, okay? Go down and then across, just like that. It's super simple. It's one of Miss Lisa's favorite letters. Okay, we're gonna go down, and across. Can you guys try that? We're gonna go down and across. Remember, uppercase X starts at the very top line, but lowercase X, does it start at the top or does it start at the middle? It starts at the middle, right? And we're gonna follow the dots, just like big X, uppercase X. We're gonna go down and across, down and across. You guys are so smart. I know you're not gonna have any trouble doing your uppercase and lowercase X's. You can also do these ones up here too. And you can also color your X-ray person if you want, your X-ray friend. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we have a puzzle to do. And I know you guys like to do puzzles. So we're gonna find some words. First, we're gonna read our words. We're gonna read the first word. It says ba-ag, bag. Okay, we're gonna find bag. Then the next word is going to be k -a -t, cat, very good. And then the next word is d -a -d, dad, okay? Those are the three words on that side. And then on this side, we're going to read these words. F -an, fan, good job, guys. Can you guys help me read the next one? At, hat. Good job. And then our last one is la app, lap. Good job. Okay, now you're gonna help me find our words. The first one is b ag. Can you find a B? Find all the Bs and see if you see an A and a G next to it. B ag, bag. I start at the top row and then the next row. And the, oh, I found a B. B ag. Miss Lisa found bag. And when I find the word, I cross it off with my marker so that I know I found it. I don't have to look at it again. Okay, the next word is k at, cat. Can we find cat? Do you see any C's? I see one here. Do we see a C and then an A? It's either gonna go across or down or up. I don't see an A, but I see another C down here. Do I see an A going this way? No. What about going down? I do. C A T K at. Cat. Good job, guys. Now we can cross the next one off. Then the one after that is D ad. Dad. Do we see any D's? <gasps> Miss Lisa does. D. And then where's the A? <gasps> do we see an A over here? Nope. <gasps> what about down here? Yes. D. Ad. Good job, guys. You guys have some bright eyes. Okay, then the next word we have is f an. Fan. Do you guys see any Fs? Because fan starts with f. I see an F here. Is there an A? No. Okay, let's find another F. What about here? F. A. N. Nope, that's not it. That's a U. Do we see any more Fs? Do we see an A? We do, f a n fan. Good job, guys. It's kind of hard for Miss Lisa because she 
is looking at things backwards. Okay, the next word is at, hat. Can you guys find hat? Let's find our H's. Do you see any H's? No, we have to find an H and then an A. So there's no A's around here. What about around here? Huh? Ah? No? Can we find another H somewhere? Hmm. Oh, what about here? Huh? Ah? No? Huh? At? I found it. Huh? At? Good job, guys. Now we can cross off hat. Then our last word is la app. Lap. Sometimes you sit on your mom or dad's lap and give them a great big hug. Okay, lap starts with L. L app. L A P. So let's find our L's. Can we find any L's? Oh, I found one right here. L app. L app. I think I found it. Good job, guys. All right, I hope you had fun doing that worksheet. That was a fun one. Okay, and then the next one we have, Miss Lisa didn't give you too many today. This is our last one because um, we're gonna see about doing a new Bob book, okay? I hope you're practicing your other one. And if you're done with it, then I have, a, I have another one for you. But if not, it's okay. You can keep reading the one from last week, okay? And this video will be up um, for as long as you need, okay? So you can, you can always come back to YouTube and um, Miss Lisa will help you with your next Bob book when you're ready. Okay, so we get to make something fun today. He looks like he's got some bones, but he's missing some. It's our dot to dot. Are you guys ready to do this with me? You guys are so smart. I know you know your numbers. Now, do we do this fast or do we do it slow? That's right, we do it slow. You can start with number one. We go one, two, three, four, five, Six, good job guys, six, then seven, oops, eight, nope, Miss Lisa missed it, eight, then nine, see I went too fast, that's what happens, after nine we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we go down to 16, 17, 18, 19, Where's 20? Over here, one more, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Who knows what's after 29? 30. There's no number 30. You just have to go to 29. And look, we made an X-ray man. Good job, guys. Give yourself a clap. You guys did a great job today exercising your brain. I think you earned some parrot food. So, Miss Lisa gave you guys some parrot food. You should go tell your mom, dad, or your grown-up who's helping you that you did a great job exercising your brain and you get to have a little reward. The parrot food's a little sour. So, um, because parrots in real life, they like fruits and some fruits are sour and some are sweet. So, Today we have some sour candy, so hopefully you'll like it. If not, maybe you can share it with your brother or sister. Okay, guys, um, I will see you guys on the next video. Good job for working your brain today. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.